Welcome everybody to this next update and this big this update is going to be a update about painting but before I did that I was looking right here on the neck joint because unfortunately I just keep looking at the model and I keep saying oh, I can tweak that I can tweak that but this was a slight little gap there at the top on the neck joint um, that I just had to go back and fill so I went ahead and taped all this off put some red putty on there I'm going to go back and sand this down and pull it off and see how it looks and probably add a little bit more red putty and get that acceptable to me which is probably you know I probably am henpecking at it too much but I just want to get that looking a little bit better and then I'm going to start the painting uh, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be using a paint from Trek Works and for those of you who know him uh, Boyd from uh, Trek Works fame from his YouTube channel and he uses custom mixed paints that he mixes and he mixed this urethane paint up for me that he is um, selling in terms of a custom mixed paints for your models and these are the same paints that he uses which are in reality from what I understand an automotive paint and they work wonderful so I'm going to be using this color uh, which is what you already see down on the hull uh, for my preliminary scratch coat on here and I just couldn't wait and had to test it and I obviously got carried away and painted a whole bunch and you've seen this color this is a blue green color that Boyd um, custom mixed for me to match some photos of the studio model uh, that him and I were looking at and he fixed that for me and he also went ahead and sent me some more paint some black and some white that he's already put reducer in it's already thinned ready to go and he sent me some green so what I can do with these three colors is use these in conjunction with with the base color and everything and mix uh, lightly uh, different shades for the Aztec paneling the feathers that are on the Klingon cruiser and for me a lot of times um, people paint these rather well a stark contrast I'm not going to be doing that I'm going to be going uh, for a look of how this model looked in Star Trek the motion picture in terms of it being filmed which is a subtle look on these panels you didn't see any huge jumping colors and stuff on there so I'm going to be doing a much more at least attempting to do a much more subtle type of look for this um, which isn't exactly which isn't exactly how the studio model was painted. When you look at photos of the actual studio model, you'll see it's much brighter uh, than what it was on screen. But I'm going for the look of how it photographed under the lighting and everything uh, of how they did it to make it look the way it did in the motion picture. And I, I haven't seen a lot of builds where someone tries to replicate that. A lot of them are much brighter in terms of how the studio model was actually painted. But I'm more interested in trying to get this model to at least have a semblance of how it looked uh, on screen in Star Trek The Motion Picture. So thanks for joining me for this update. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of this. And then we'll be moving forward with testing out some of Boyd's wonderful new paint. And I think that line of paint is called uh, Cosmic Colors and here's the logo and um, I'll put up uh, Boyd's YouTube channel right here so you can take a look at his other videos and all the models that he's painted with with his paint which works out really well and you can contact him for uh, custom paint uh, for your models if you're interested so far I can tell you from just putting down this um, prelim preliminary coat on the model I'm exceptionally pleased with it it went through my Wada airbrush wonderfully. I was very pleased with how well it went down. It dried rapidly, very fast compared to most any other paint I have ever used. Uh, the only thing I can say that probably dried as close as fast as this would be Tamiya. Um, but uh, all the other brands that I've tried in the past are pale in comparison to this. It also went down incredibly smooth. I mean, I used Tester's uh, lacquer primer on this model, and 
did a light wet sanding on it and it was just a nice and smooth surface and this paint went down and it went down ultra smooth. I'm very very pleased with this and I can also tell you that from handling the model a lot, bumping it, um, because I've had several accidents and dealing with some of my tools on it and everything, it is very scratch resistant. That's one, one of the things I like about the Tamiya is it flows through the airbrush really well. It goes down rather smooth, but Tamiya is very easy to scratch and mar. This paint, however, uh, is much, much tougher, and I'm very pleased with this. So I'm looking forward to um, using these paints on this model for my first um, build with Boyd's paints. This works out really well. I'm probably going to be using a lot more of his paints in the future on my projects. Okay. I'm going to start by putting the base coat onto the underside of the model and I've taken some of my base color that Trekworks mixed up for me which is the blue green color and I placed it in my airbrush and now I'm going to go ahead and start spraying the paint on I'm spraying at um, I think about 27 pounds of pressure at the moment. I'm not going to try to cover everything perfectly. I'm going to do it very lightly. Well, I have a lot of the uh, hull color down, um, touching up that which I had done before, and doing areas that I hadn't done previously. Obviously, this is going to require several coats, um, thinly applied to get everything nicely, nice and covered. It's still some splotchiness going on, but overall, it's covered fairly decently. The painting, the color of the paint has revealed a few. Uh, imperfections that I'm going to have to deal with, the, which I did not see with the white uh, primer that was on it. Amazing, but that's the way it always is with modeling. You always have to continue just uh, sanding and putting and priming and painting over and over and over again just to get a really good finish. The bottom of the nacelles, which were somewhat problematic on their seams, have turned out um, fairly nice. I mean the seam is right through there but you can't even see it um, which is really cool. I'm happy with that one. The other side though this seam right here I thought I had that smooth. It looked and it felt smooth. It still feels smooth yet there's just a slight ridge there that I'm going to have to work on so I'm going to have to get that taken down. Uh, over the bottom of the hull Everything's looking really good. I need to tape off my brass pipe here, uh, stand, part of the stand to hold the model, so I can get really close in, into that. 
but overall everything is looking pretty good right here there's a couple minor imperfections right along this area right here that I want to fix um, I mean obviously it would be on the underside of the model and nobody would probably ever see it or even notice it even if they did look but I notice it and it drives me nuts and a couple little things right here along the grill that I need to fix on this side on the top everything is looking pretty decent I'm pretty pleased uh, with that let me show you how those panel lines I resculpted turned out okay this is the starboard side and overall these turned out pretty good the painting has revealed some roughness right here on the end that I need to fix I should have seen that before but I didn't I don't know why I'm blind but overall the panel lines themselves which were quite large gaps have been resculpted and covered over. I need to probably do a little bit more sanding on them but I'm pretty happy with that. There's a little bump right here I need to work out. Over on the um, port side these have turned out fairly decently. I still need to do some more sanding right here uh, and a little bit right here. Well actually just a little bit more putty right there and sanding and smoothing that out. These, which this side even had a larger gap, turned out fairly decently. Now that the dark shade is on there I can see that I have a little gap right there that I need to fix um, and get that taken care of. But overall those turned out pretty decently. I just need to do a little bit more filling and a little bit more sanding work on those and I think those will look out look pretty, well, pretty good. Um, other areas on the hull uh, with the light blocking um, up under here has turned out really well. I'm happy with that. The um, filled in part right here on top has turned out really well. Uh, it's nice and smooth. The gap is filled so it's all together as one piece. That looks really nice. So anyway, overall I'm very happy with it. Uh, I need to put some more paint here on the bridge dome. But, um, and some more right here around the nav light. But I am very pleased with the paint. It goes down very smooth, um, not any big issues at all with my airbrush. I did through um, using the airbrush for about 20 minutes. I did run a little um, acetone through the airbrush just to clean it some during the process. Uh, but overall it worked out really well. I'm happy with the way this is turning out. As I said, the paint's really smooth, so I can tell Boyd, Trek works. <laughs> this is wonderful paint and I'm really really pleased with it. So I'm going to let this set for a few minutes um, and take a break and then I'll come back and I'm going to do some more coats on it and work on the sanding issues and get some of those things cleaned up really quick so I can continue on with the painting. Well there's some paint on the Katinga and I'm very happy with the color and the way things have worked out. Um, I did have to do a little bit more spraying on it I mean a little bit more sanding and putting because after I put that dark color this color on I noticed some things that I had not noticed before again so I did um, do some more work on it but overall I'm very happy um, I may do a little bit more touch up before I start putting the different colors on the different sh uh, lightly different shades for the um, paneling and I need to do some touch up up here on the grill that I'll do by hand um, because I don't want to get anything on the diffusion material that's diffusing the red and uh, I need to go back in and scrape the uh, paint off the fiber optic heads and the liquid mass that I have on those uh, to get the lights back and um, overall the paint's covered quite nicely I'm really pleased with it. And again, I'm using uh, Trekworks's paint line, Cosmic Colors, where he custom mixed paints um, just for his customers to match their projects. And I'm really pleased with how this has turned out overall. It looks really, really nice, and I'm very pleased. So next time, um, I should be putting down uh, different paint shades for the paneling, the Aztec paneling or the feather paneling or whatever you want to call it on this thing. I will also be clipping off the fiber optics up here on the front 
and probably creating a custom decal to go around the windows for that trench that darker shade or I may try taping it off and painting it on I haven't decided yet and we'll have to see um, and I will be creating the decals all over again um, for the kit I still need to put a little bit more paint in here where I can see that I need a little bit of light blocking miss that um, but I will be redoing the decals on the kit so I'm looking forward to doing that I also need to put some material in around the inside of the torpedo tube to give it that kind of rough look that it had uh, in the motion picture so well, before I close this video out I did want to just go ahead and take a minute and talk about the cosmic color line of paint um, Boyd tells me, Trekworks tells me that this is a urethane based paint and I have to say this is probably the best paint I've ever used for modeling um, I know that it's really not a model paint it's actually an automobile paint but it dries quickly it's very tough um, I'm really really impressed with how well it goes through my airbrush it um, as I said it's very durable it covers nicely it light blocks excellent it's uh, th this color obviously is the base color that I'm using and all this piece here is clear as well as this down here and even though I do have some light leaks which I need to turn the model over to see that and I didn't realize that before but where I did put the paint it completely blocked the uh, the light and I'm really really pleased with how well it covered and it goes on very thin in its consistency and doesn't eat away at the detail on the model and you can definitely see that here on the bridge dome with all the little pieces up here and up on top here and on these paneling all the little bumps and lumps and panel pieces and everything and that's worked out really well so I'm very pleased with this and how well it goes down it also doesn't give off tremendously bad fumes like some paints do so overall I'm very pleased with this and I can highly recommend Cosmic Colors from Trek Works it's an excellent paint and I am really pleased so I hope you can uh, get an opportunity to use it in the future. Contact Trekworks and see if he can provide it, get it for you. It's really good, and that's Cosmic Colors. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and I really appreciate all my subscribers. I do want to let everybody know that I am going to be moving to a new channel. Uh, instead of the HDA TX channel, I will be moving to HDA Model Works. That's HDA Model Works with an X on the end. Uh, for several reasons, uh, but obviously the most important is I never thought I would um, be doing so many videos, so I was using a account that um, I uh, was going to have limitations with in the future, so I've created the new YouTube channel account, and I'll be moving everything over there, and in the near future I'm going to be announcing a, um, a contest for my subscribers. So anyway, if you get a chance, please move your subscription over. All the videos I'll be doing in the short term will be posted on both sites. Happy modeling everyone and take care.